So now the question is, what is Peter's injury? Okay, so we come right back. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of okay. So up he came, and he and he was turning, and he smashed his head. Yes. So which structure or structures are most likely the cause of his ongoing debilitating, terrible pain? Well, we said it was somatic. So it's somatic. So it's in the neck. And which there are two structures which are the most, and there's one structure that stands above all others in the neck, which would cause his type of awful pain with that kind of with the, with the mechanism of you know. The 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 joint. Number one, number one, fantastic. Okay, his Z joints, his zygopophyseal joints, are his the most likely cause, and the other is his disc. Okay, he could have damaged, he could have damaged his disc. And sometimes you get both. Okay, so the question is why, if you were to ask the same question in the lumbar spine as to what is the most important cause of chronic, non-debilitating, non-resolving lower back pain, the answer would be the disc much more, much before the joint. Okay, and the reason is that if you look at how it's made, Here's your lumbar spine, and you've got a huge disc, and you've got a tiny little joint. So about 90% of the force comes through that disc, and about 10, maybe 15% come through, come through there. In the neck, however, you've got a relatively small disc, as I said, these drop down, and you've got a huge joint. And the weight distribution is 50-50. So your joint is doing a lot more work in your neck. He was coming up like this, he was turning, he had a compressive injury, and so his is almost like a whiplash injury. So I thought we'd just explore, we've got uh, 10 minutes left, we'll explore whiplash. And the question is, in whiplash, originally when I was studying whiplash, initially, years ago, as a, you know, as a medical student and later on, the understanding was that whiplash is a soft tissue injury. And the answer is no, whiplash isn't. Whiplash may be a soft tissue injury in the patients that get better, but in the ones that don't, there's a so you did this study where what they did was they had a model and they did a whiplash, which is usually somebody drive you're sitting down low to low, about to drive off and, and an idiot drives into the back of you. And so what happens is that you're sitting in your chair and the car gets shoved forward, and so you get shoved forward. Okay, so your body's moving forward, but your head, which isn't so nicely attached, moves backwards. But the crunch is, and this is literally the crunch, that as your body starts moving forward, you're held by a seatbelt. And therefore, instead of just flying straight forward, what you do is you go forward, and up. You, there's a slingshot. So now what happens is your spine is shooting upwards, but your head is going backwards. 